Welcome back to the woods. My favorite time of year out here in the woods is the growing season. There's no better way to start your day than outside. Morning. Five today. Amazing. I'll share. Thank you. <laughs> We're building a traditional cabin bunkhouse on our property in the remote woods. We've established a screw pile foundation that's four feet below the frost line. All the logs have been joined to create the first floor, and this week we start building up to create the two-story guest cottage. But first, we made something for all of you that represents our community. And represents the pack that shares the message of what brings us together every Sunday. You all gave us the idea for this design, and that's because each week you always leave comments that say, we motivate you and inspire you to try something new, do it yourself, or simply just to get motivated. And to be honest, all of you inspire us. So if Crystal could do a little turn for us. This is for all of us. Do it yourself, fix it yourself. You'll never regret that you tried. I love this message. Isn't that the truth? So that thank you to all of you. Is our pack. All of you said last time that you loved the quality of the sweaters and the t-shirts. And so we're doing the same high quality garment. However, this time the t-shirt is a little more lightweight. We also have three designs. And a hat. And a hat that comes in black or camo. We love the camo, it's such a vibe. Sunday pack day. It's so cute and she's never taking it off. We already know that. Comfiest hat yet again. More sizes it. for everyone, which is so exciting. Extra small to 5XL. I love this one because it is the OG cabin. It in its raw state, nice printed on the shirt with a big design. The OG cabin, I love so it. So cute. Eh? Show them the back of yours. I'm gonna oh, yes. read this to you because this is like the most beautiful message. A group of people who come together on Sundays, connected by nature and the will to try. A community, a shared inspiration, not just in our neck of the woods, but around the world, we make the pack. I think I just smiled ear to ear <laughs> that entire paragraph. We hope you love it. We love it so much. We we sat there and wrote it out together. It was yeah. a special moment and we're happy we can put it on a shirt and share it with all of you. And I love that it just means so much and I cannot wait till y'all get to wear the pack around. And so the sale starts today. If you go to vanwives.com, you can shop for 12 days. It ends on August 30th and then everything's gonna ship out mid to end September. Make get your sure pack merch. Get your pack merch. Can't wait. And share the video. Hope you love it. Off to go get my tools. We forgot a couple tools at the other house, so Crystal's going to get them right now. And I remember when she got stitches, she was like, oh, I wish we had those pack out DeWalt toolboxes. I had stepped over a box of our tools, which now makes me think I'm getting those really nice DeWalt tool, car yes! <laughs> tool carriers that Jasmine's been asking for. Well, I took that as the, I want them too now, Jasmine. So um, I might have done something in a little bit more. <laughs> I blame this person. They were so good at their job. Just show me how they all stacked together. And then I was smiling in my truck. <laughs> Anywho, while she's going to find us a tool, I've been keeping these hidden and I am going to now pack all of our tools in them. And hopefully she likes them more once she sees how organized they are. Cause I don't know if any of you've been seeing, but things are just all over the porch right now in milk crates and at the other house and everywhere. But most importantly, no more stitches for any of us. They all attach together. It's one big rolly. It's sick. I think I might start traveling with this bag. The funniest part is this is that would actually be a better, Crystal would be better at this job, but hey, okay. here we are. Oh, I hear her. She's coming back. What do you think? Our new toolboxes. <laughs> I love it. For safety, right? For safety. Look, happy, happy birthday <laughs> to me. To myself in October. Happy birthday <laughs> to, to me. What am I beat it? Oh, you want them? <laughs> well, I'd say that's a great purchase then. Both the wives say yes. I mean, you're the one that did get 12 stitches, so. 
We are like currently carry everything in a milk crate and like multiple reusable bags, but and every time you put a saw in it, it's either too heavy, it breaks the strap, or it just rips all the bag. Literally. And nails just fall out all Look over. Look at the bottom of that. Full of nails, by the way. Watch out with that. Bag one, bag two. Bag ladies. Bag three. See? No handle. We are building this bunkie behind me. And in order to start building up, as it's 14 feet high, there's two stories, we need a little bit of a better footing here. As you can see, we just have a deck with joists and, well, you know, not always the safest when you're going up. Want to lay some decking boards? <laughs> <laughs> yep. probably wondering what kind of deck is that jazz We've got a track saw for a reason excess we'll go over there definitely should have got six pump boards but I was going off memory hi Bella don't jump up there no 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 we no oh. I said don't jump up there <laughs> over here one two three up wow wonderful Bella that's not food that's screws is you don't go on that part either yeah it's scary but on the deck Come on, it's up. One, two, three, up right here. Wow, good job. That's not food, that's screws. Show on the deck. Perfection. Look at it. Nice size deck for a bunkie, I'd say. It's so nice. Anyone home yet? This is gonna help so much with like putting ladders up and going like this. Yeah. We don't want any more. Rolled ankles. Looks so good. Yeah, I like it. Put like two little chairs there, some plants. You know what would also look really cute? What's like, that? Full wrap around stairs. Yeah, that would be you super know? cute. That's a lot of leveling though. That ain't a problem. Perfect. Glad you're up for the task. I'll <laughs> build the stringers and the stairs. You level? Looks great. Teammates. I'm really hungry. <laughs> it's like eight. And I want to go swimming, but the beavers definitely have the lake right now. Go share. Any beavers? I think I'm all clear. I swear I don't want your lily pads. <sighs> Glory. Bella and Izzy, the most important members of our pack, our leaders and our supervisors. Our supervisors and our leaders must eat the healthiest they can. Bella and Izzy love Sundays for Dogs. And did you know that Sundays was created by and is run by a vet, Dr. Tori Waxman. It all starts with natural human grade ingredients that we all eat, that they air dry into shelf stable pieces that your dog will love. It's only one of two foods in all of the US that offers complete balanced nutrition from whole food ingredients. Zero fillers, it's actually food. You're very welcome, Bella. You're welcome, Izzy. My vet told me that dogs used to live a lot longer than they do now, and she believes it's simply because of the food they eat. That made me do so much research and figure out what type of food would make Bella and Izzy live the longest. And now I'm so happy to be sharing it all with you because Whole Foods is what's going to give our dogs so many more years as they simply don't have enough with us. And like always, Sundays for Dogs has the best deal for all of you. It's 50% off your first order if you use code VANWIVES. You all know the drill. Fire up Clementine and head towards the lumber pile. But today, let's stop and have a little raspberry snack. Mmm, mmm, so good. Four board time. Do it like this. everybody trying to find a new way and a new vibe and a guru with some advice. They keep thinking. 
thinking that a cold fake and a hot take gonna dictate what they feel like. I can show you how to dive in, how to pretend if you don't know where you're landing. Don't you wonder what'll happen if you give in to the moment? Here we go then. Just watch me do it like this, do it like this, do it like this. It's something now I can't miss, now I can't miss, I can't miss. The last flooring board, it had to be ripped. Okay. Throw this in. Last board, the floor is done. Pretty floor. I love it. It's so adorable in here. Okay, now that we have a nice base inside and outside, that means ladders can be put in and we can go up, right? There you go. Yeah, I think we have only have like a couple more boards until we're at the windows. And now is when the boards change. We have a little cantilever happening, so should be pretty interesting. We're making more than just a rectangle now. We're slowly working all the way back up. So what we do is we go front to back, side to side, and you just kind of stack a log until you're, all of a sudden, you've got a bunkie. So, <laughs> it's kind of fun. It's like Lincoln Logs. All right, here you go. Thank you. Before we go any further, we have to admire just how perfect this location is. Nice and close to the cabin, but just nestled in the woods here under these beautiful evergreens that stay just as beautiful as they look in the summer all year round. Your next piece. Looks so good. I really like that. Like so good. And the sun is dropping right behind us. We're almost at the top of this window, which means we're moving on to the second story. This isn't a single floor bunkie. There is gonna be an upstairs. I'm so excited to build this with all of you, but I'm even more excited for someone to come over and sleep in here. It'll be so great for all of our guests to have this whole space to themselves, a little place to sleep, hang out. Well, there's a lot more coming, so I'll save the rest for later. any good recommendations of a good marshmallow or hot dog roasting stick, please let me know. I always just do the stick in the woods, but I cook so many hot dogs on the fire that my sticks burn. So looking for a good recommendation so I can keep eating hot dogs and marshmallows every night in the woods. It is such a beautiful summer evening. We had to sit by the fire to enjoy the last few minutes of daylight. And of course, we're not messing around. Wanna show them your skills? <laughs> well, as you all know, hot dogs are my favorite food. That's the octopus? Yes. Those are my favorite ones. Looks yeah, like girl. A, looks like a dog. Not gonna be no dogs anymore. Gonna be octopus dogs. Be careful with my octopus. Now when I get a welder, this will be a lot better. But prototype number one, sit from your seat. You put a drill, you drill, I mean, you put a bolt in here. A holder for it. A holder, hands free. This is the perfect reason to learn how to weld. Oh, see, my prototype, I'm learning. They're going to gather when we do this way. So we're gonna need to put a spacer in between. Phase one of the hot dog cooker failed but we learned back to the old school way i mean honestly all the comments are gonna be like just get a stick in your wood jasmine yeah. 
So are you making more? What do you mean? They're already going. That's only yeah. You can't be eating a dog and not be roasting a dog. You gotta eat the dog while the other dog's roasting. And then you speed it up and put it in the fire more. I love fire. I was just looking at your face saying, wow, she just loves fires. You'll stay out here all night. Put you in the hot tub, put you in, put you in a pool or anything? 10 minutes? You're acting like a mermaid. By a fire? <laughs> You're <Mel>. chilling. <laughs> So good for your soul. Great catch, Bella. The hydrangeas are flowering. They're cute. Every day I look out the window and I say, can't believe how beautiful you are. And they got so big, so fast, everyone. Black-eyed Susans are blooming. What do we have here? Orange tomatoes. The That's first okay. ones. I didn't think that this plant was gonna be the first to produce, but you shocked me. And to think we were so worried about the powdery mildew. Look at it all going along. In Crystal's defense, she has been in the greenhouse every day, spraying them, sometimes multiple times a day, making sure that powdery mildew doesn't spread. Okay, it's a jungle in here. We're gonna have peppers really soon. A soon-to-be cucumber. Well, if you need any food, your local grocery store is uh, now open for the season. Basil, pesto, what do y'all wanna make? Love this little spot. Hope you enjoyed that tour. A lot of you always ask about this place. I guess because you can't see in, you know? The zucchinis are just crazy. The zucchinis are going. All of it's just going. I can't believe it. it took us three years, but here we are. The zucchinis oh. are, oh my God. Oh, that was really sad. Where do you want it? On the deck by the... What's this, a plant? Crystal got more plants? Yeah, well, they're on sale. Mm -hmm. And um, our deck had no plants, and I thought if we were gonna have any, we might as well have some of that produce. Apparently 26 tomato plants isn't enough. <laughs> Anyway, I know they look like they're dying, but you just wait. Flat piece. You know what that means? Level two! It's the last piece, hey? It's starting now. We're tall right now. We're very tall. Like, I think we might need the scaffolding for the roof. We might. Are we gonna do this roof before the other roof? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> we have visitors, and I'm hoping we have their log cabin built for them. Me too. Yeah. They might be sleeping on the floor, but I'll give them an air mattress. <laughs> Game plan, Captain? Game plan, we're gonna lift the door up. Okay, one, two, three. Lock it so we can just chisel away at the board underneath of it to make it completely level. The door needs to be level, because every piece after that needs to be level. Level, 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 level. Y'all don't even know how bright it is in here right now. We have no roof and these walls pine walls just reflect the light we had to both put hats on these are boards and soon there'll be a floor floorboards <laughs> holy <laughs> i just jumped so hard right there i thought the board was coming Oh my god. I thought I was that strong. <laughs> Welcome to the upstairs. Second floor. We're so high up. I'm like in line with the middle of the roof right now. Look at this. I'm in the trees. Wow. Very sturdy too. Like definitely a dance floor. I'm gonna hold in me bunky. <laughs> It's three o'clock. Y'all know what that means? Hey, Bella. Cooled off and ready for supervising.
look at this mallet damage. That's how you know you've been malleting for a long time and you've been going hard. My right arm is gonna fall off. It's super jacked. My left arm, just the noodle still. The last window, y'all! How do I get up there, Mom? Come on! That's flat. Yeah. That went quite easy. That was nice. Yeah. It's super nice that there's a window up here. It's not just a loft. Like, you've got your bed here and you've got, like, light and it, air. You got. You got. You got to lay in here. You got lights and you got airs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It is obviously heat rises, so it's nice. It's that. super nice because this is obviously the bedroom. <laughs> Sneak peek. Yeah, this is the bedroom. Rapunzel, is that you? Okay, you want to help me with that triangle, Rapunzel, or are you still locked in your castle? Is that the story? I don't know. Me either. Okay. So just put it on the side. What? Just look right there. Like we're gonna go stuff. We're gonna go up. No, push it in. Okay. That was. Wait, my hand's still down here. Triangle just pulled it completely together. Oh, it's a house! That's so cute. How are the hell are we getting that one on? Yeah, that ladder. Then we could just like basically get the triangle up on that ladder, right? And then we both walk up the side of the ladder. How are you doing? What? Great. Like up over the feet, right? Yeah. Well, We tried for the rest of the evening, idea after idea, the triangle was too large and awkward to lift above our heads. The best idea we did have was to call on our ingenuitive neighbors. <laughs> with their help, we assembled two ladders with wide wooden planks supported by the loft and walked the triangle across, giving us much more leverage to put the final piece in place. Okay, which one was in, which one of you was into the gymnastics? <laughs> Neither. Right, <laughs> um, is my water still braced? Yeah, I thought I felt it. You have to just keep going for okay, it. Sure. Keep going. I got it. Okay, so wait, 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 because we're at like the notches now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to lift it to my side. Wait okay, one second. I just need to get mine more straight. And I'm car currently shaking. You're shaking. <laughs> You're doing You're great. Tights. That's in almost. Yeah. So now I just need to somehow get my mallet. Now just remember to keep it straight. No. Oh. 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 That's that's inside out. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Just take that off. Can you imagine? No, I will leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're an absolute legend. 
<laughs> not our brains. Their brains. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I did not think this was going up today. <laughs> we were gonna wait till my brother got here. You can't teach life experience. You only learn it as you go through life. <laughs>